We've all heard of the super rich people spending their money on completely crazy things. Let's take a look at the absolutely dumbest things billionaires have spent their money on. Firstly, let's go back to 2013. Pretty much everyone has a smartphone, right? Well, in 2013, they were definitely gaining popularity, but were still pretty pricey. One billionaire took this price tag to the next level, though, by having a UK jeweler customize his brand new iPhone 5. The jeweler, Stuart Hughes, showed off the Mega Blind commission on his website. There are a total of over 650 beautiful diamonds embedded in the handset, and even a solid gold Apple logo. The whole thing has 135 grams of 24 karat gold, and even the screen is made of sapphire glass. How fancy can you get? The customer, a businessman from Hong Kong, requested a family heirloom to be set into the phone. The precious treasure is a huge, flawless black diamond, and it's fitted into the front of the phone to replace the home button. It's for sure impressive, but seeing how quickly iPhone models get updated with new tech all the time, it might have been a rather short-sighted investment. Either way, Stuart Hughes is claiming this to be the world's most expensive phone, which sounds pretty darn cool. One super-rich billionaire named Sheikh Hamad, a member of the ruling family of Abu Dhabi, has embarked on a couple of weird projects that cost a ton of money. The most famous of these is an island he owns, which is crazy enough to start with, but trust us, it gets weirder from here. The billionaire decided that owning the island wasn't enough. He wanted his name on it, and he wanted it to be visible from space. The super-rich Sheikh had his name Hamad carved into the island. He had this done in enormous 500-foot letters, making canals to draw in water from the ocean to fill in the letters with the tide. Just as he wanted, his name was indeed visible from space. In 2018, people began to notice in pictures on Google Earth that all the letters had mysteriously been covered up and the canals filled in with concrete. Perhaps it was too much negative publicity? Nobody knows for sure, but it was certainly a whole lot of money down the drain. What if you want everyone to know how loaded you are but you don't want to have to use satellite imagery to see it? Well, we've got the answer. Indian billionaire business owner Pankaj Panak decided to wear his wealth. He had a custom-made shirt for his 45th birthday arranged, made with pure gold. Can you imagine wearing an expensive item made of pure gold? The gold used in the thread is between 18 to 22 carats and is super heavy. The shirt weighs almost 9 pounds, which is heavier than some newborn babies. This luxury shirt is worth approximately $213,000. But even had to be surrounded by bodyguards and security staff at his own birthday party whilst he was wearing it. While we're on the subject of solid gold, let's talk about toilets. Or better yet, a whole bathroom. There's a super exclusive property in Manhattan, New York in a very expensive loft. The luxury property is worth $12 million and is super fancy. While the property was up for sale, a host of popular architecture TV shows were able to get the lowdown. The bathroom is connected to the home gym and has a gold bathtub, gold toilet, and gold gold sink, and even the walls are made with gold mosaic tile pieces. The whole thing must have cost a fortune. There's even a huge golden dollar sign on the wall. A golden toilet is definitely one of the dumbest ways to flash your cash. As such, we weren't surprised to hear that Kanye West and Kim Kardashian spent almost a whole $1 million on four gold-plated toilets for their house in 2013. So if you're a super rich billionaire and you spend all day signing checks, you want a nice pen, right? Well, the Mont Blanc jewelry designers are makers of one of the most expensive pens in the world. The pen itself is a fountain pen and encrusted with lots of teeny tiny diamonds. In fact, there are exactly 4,810 diamonds on the main body of the pen and the lid. If you want one of these bad boys, it'll set you back 160 grand. Mont Blanc only makes around eight of these exclusive pens a year, but the most expensive pen ever is made by French pen maker Tabaldi and is worth a crazy 5.9 million pounds. That's around $9 million and was sold at a charity auction. At least whatever crazy person who wanted to own a pen more expensive than a house gave their money to a good cause, this pen is coated in rare black diamonds, and only one exists in the whole world. Speaking of things encrusted with bling, let's talk about cars. One of the most expensive cars in the whole world is made by Mercedes-Benz, and is reportedly worth an enormous $4.8 million. The car was commissioned to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Mercedes-Benz SL550, and was revealed at a Dubai event in 2007. To make the moment even more special, this car is actually part of a pair that was specially made. One of the cars is encrusted with 300,000 white crystals and the other is encrusted with 300,000 gold crystals. Everything about these cars is dripping with luxury. Even the headrest and seats are furnished in mink fur. 
photos of the exclusive cars have been made famous after they went viral, with people claiming that if partygoers at the event wanted to touch the car, they had to pay $1,000. How crazy is that? $1,000 to touch a car. The lavish style of the famous car has led lots of people to believe they are actually owned by a Saudi prince, but in actual fact they were both part of the exclusive exhibition at the event in Dubai. They have traveled around the world to different exhibitions and have probably been copied by millionaires and billionaires since their debut. Sometimes, people have so much money to spend on what they want and they run out of things to buy for themselves. We found some cases of people blowing crazy dumb amounts of money on their pets. One of these most famous people is Paris Hilton, who is well known for spending lavish amounts of money on her dogs. The hotel chain ARS cares deeply for her dogs and makes sure that they live in the lap of luxury. On the grounds of Paris Hilton's own mansion, the doggies have their own mini mansion which Paris herself could quite comfortably step inside to walk around because it is so huge. According to reports from 2009, back when the fancy doghouse was built, Paris Hilton spent $325,000 on building the villa-style home. The interior is decorated in pink and black and there are doggy-sized designer sofas, beds and cushions. The house even has air conditioning. Paris Hilton and her team regularly post pictures and videos to her pet's Instagram. Yes, they have an Instagram where you can see how much money is surrounding these cute little spoiled dogs. It isn't just mega-famous celebrities that spend crazy amounts of money on their pets though. Rich people who keep themselves more low-key than Paris Hilton have spent a ton of cash on their animals. A company called Posh Puppy Boutique has a bath for your pets, complete with a roll top and claw feet, but that isn't all. The stylish tubs also come embellished all over with expensive Swarovski crystals. On some baths, this can be up to 45,000 of them. These luxury pet baths will set you back almost $7,000. For those people who have a $7,000 dog bath, they will want something fancy for their pet to wear when it's nice and clean. The company aptly named I Love Dogs Diamonds has a range of bespoke collars, so if you're on a tighter budget, the cheapest one is only $150,000. The huge collar looks more like a gleaming diamond necklace than a collar for a dog, but you can't put a price on taste. And lastly, if you have more money than cents, you can flash your wad of cash on the App Store on your phone. There are paid apps you can download, some costing $1,000, just to prove to people that you are rich. Just having the logo of the app on your smartphone is proof enough that you have enough money to waste on whatever you want. Some of these apps are just called things like, I am rich, and it's literally just a very expensive badge for your home screen. If you look into the app stats, you can see that some of these apps have tons of downloads, and some even up to 50,000. So whoever makes these apps is getting a lot of money from super rich people with nothing better to spend their money on. Literally. The only purpose of having this app is to prove to people that you can afford it. Apps like this started popping up over 10 years ago, and after the first one was launched, others have come to join it. In our opinion, this might be the dumbest thing on this list.